how to get rid of body hair. I'll be going over short term, long term, and permanent options. Starting with short term, your hair will grow back in about three days. Electric shaver. I personally like to electric shave since it makes the shaving process much more faster, but it can cost a lot and can't be really used in a shower. Hair removal cream. Hair removal cream is good if you're trying to avoid irritation, cuts, or nicks that razor has, but you do have to be careful because of the burning sensation since it's chemically burning off your hairs. Of course, we have shaving, which can be time consuming for the first time. And if your hair is too long, you can trim using scissors. After the first time shaving, shaving again every few days will be less time consuming. If you're interested in long term, then this section is for you. Each of these methods will last about two to three weeks before your hair grows back. Also, quick warning, most of these you will probably experience pain. Epilators. Epilator is like an electric razor that you use to pull out the roots of your hair. This will of course experience some pain. To reduce the pain, you can look for epilators that can be used in the water and use the epilators when your body is moisturized. Waxing. There are more than one method of waxing. There is hard wax, cold wax, soft wax, and pre-wax you could buy in stores. Hard wax, aka hot wax, is wax that hardens onto your skin and you don't need strips to remove. This can be less painful than cold wax and be careful for hot wax since if it's too hot, it can burn your skin. Soft wax is another method of wax removal, which you can spread wax onto your leg and rip it off using a wax strip. This method is great for large surfaces such as your chest and your legs. However, this can be messier than hot wax. Next, we got cold wax, which is less messier and there's no chance of burning yourself, but it is pretty hard to use. And lastly, we got pre-made wax strips. They're super easy to apply, less messier, it's more painful to use and has a higher chance of failure. If it's too painful while waxing, you can use Advil or Tylenol an hour before waxing to numb the pain. You can also use numbing cream too, but I don't recommend that since you can't tell if the wax is too hot. Now that waxing was covered, there's another method called sugaring. Sugaring is like waxing, it doesn't hurt as much. What you do is add sugar, lemon, and water to your skin and use a wax strip to remove the hair. Now we'll cover permanent solutions, which require multiple sessions. I wouldn't recommend permanent solutions unless you give some thought about it. If you don't like body hair for a long period of time, then you can consider it. Laser hair removal. Dermatologists will beam lasers into your hair follicles to damage your pigments, which causes your hair to be removed for long term. However, there's side effects such as swelling, skin inflammation, scarring, and blistering, which is temporary. And this method is not suitable for blonde, gray, red, and white hair. Electrolysis. It's similar to laser hair removal, but instead, they use electrical currents to remove your hair. This method requires multiple sessions, and if you have dark skin, it'll leave ugly scars. In the future, I'll provide updates in the description and the comments on videos of me covering the short-term and long-term methods. See ya!